Hello everybody, this is my first practice piece of wire weaving. I brought some copper wire and uh, yeah, I've tried to do a little bit of the wrapping there. I've just been doing a few practices, I did that piece, it needs polishing because there's still some marks so I haven't practiced with the polishing yet, just the uh, you know wire bending and the and the hammering. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I've got. So what I got was, I got myself some um, copper wire in, in various various sizes. I'm just going to do a square, a square one. Um, and I got all these little ones for weaving as well. So all in, you know, various um, gauges, different gauges of of um, copper wire and also that's for me to mostly practice on so and then I bought myself various different ones with the sterling silver wire so I've got all different sizes in here which obviously don't get anywhere near so much for your money and it's a lot more expensive so I'm going to practice with the copper and then when I get my cabochons I bought some beautiful cabochons um, from World of Rock Hounds which is Carl's channel. He does a live um, rock sale every weekend. Um, so go on over to World of Rock Hounds. He does capuchons and, and does some beads and all sorts of other rocks and crystals as well. So very, very interesting. Uh, I've been learning a lot from that channel um, and having fun buying capuchons. So when they get here, hopefully I'll be practiced enough to um, use my sterling silver. But that is my first go. And also, a few essentials for this new game that I want to play. I got myself a mini anvil and then I got myself some new, where is it? New hammer. Or night, oh yeah, nylon hammer for work hardening my wires. And I already had this little jewellery hammer, but I really need a chasing hammer. So I might have to get one of those. And then I bought myself some new pliers. I got these, which are nylon, nylon pliers for straightening out my wires. They weren't very expensive and I got them off Amazon, so you can get a set of those. I just bought a set because I don't know which ones I'm gonna need the most. And I already have chain nose pliers and my other old faithful set of chain nose. I don't know where they are. And my round nose, I already have these, so my collection but I treated myself to some new nippers snippers for my wire and then a smaller pair in case I need to get in there close um, and I also got myself uh, a pair of baling pliers for making the bales treated myself so I bought those and I bought a new pair of flat nose pliers because I don't have a, a decent pair of those at all. In fact, I haven't got a pair of flat nose pliers. No, I've only got the chain nose. Yeah, so I bought those and then that's it, I think. Yeah, I already had this one. This one's for rounding off your, similar to making bales, similar to, I already had them. I just haven't used them for ages. And then I've got my tiny old faithfuls, which is my, hook nose pliers. I had a set of three of these but I gave the other two to pairs that went with it to my grandsons for them to do wire bending a few years ago so but they're my old ones so that's my selection of pliers not too many hey so that might be a little bit overkill so you don't quite need maybe not all of them but <clears throat> I've got the whole set now and I also treated myself a new set of polishing heads for my Dremel for polishing off my work when I've finished. So I can give it that proper really good deep shine. So hopefully I experiment with those and uh, do a bit more experimenting with my Dremel. <laughs> that should be fun. And also what else did I get to equip myself? Oh, wire wool. I need some wire wool to clean up my work. And I also bought some liver of sulphur in case I decide to age, you know, do patina, patinaing and age my my metal. 
Um, I've got some liver of sulfur there, just in case. But the intention is to take you along on my journey with me. So I'm learning and experimenting. Like I said, this is my first little practice piece. So, and then I did make another, but I bent it. I shouldn't have bent, I should have left it flat. I was just experimenting with the hammer. I wanted to see what, how it worked with the hammer. So I did this little piece. But I did the weaving, can you see the, but I've done it a little bit too loose. It's a bit loosey, loosey goosey. So, yeah, I was just messing about with the materials, really giving a feel for it, practicing a bit of a weave. Maybe I shouldn't have bent it. I should have left it flat. It looked quite pretty. But yeah, never mind. Anyway, that was just a little bit of mucking about there. And the same there, really. And that's a bead with a hole in it. So it's not an actual cabochon. Put the wire through the bead. So, but yes, when my cabochons get here, I'd like to do some in the silver. I think that's all I've bought. I'll sort of put to show you at the minute. Yeah, that's all my new bits that I've bought for my my next project. Oh, I've got some actually, and I found this. Dark copper wire, like a brownie colour. I thought that would look really nice as a contrast for weaving. Contrast wire. So I've had that lying around for years. I've found that. So that will come in handy. So yeah, that's going to be an upcoming project. I'm going to be doing some of this wire weaving. And... I thought I'd, you know, film as I go and take you guys along with me on my wire weaving journey and maybe it will help you all to learn as well. You can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> and you'll know not what, what not to do. So, yeah, I'm going to do some videos. They'll be coming up soon. And like I said, I'm waiting for my... I've bought, I bought some beautiful um, semi-precious cabochons, all-natural earth stones. Some really beautiful pieces coming. Um, I'm just waiting for them now to be shipped to me from America. Uh, from Carl's channel, World of Rock Hounds. So yeah, every weekend he does a rock sale and I've bought some amazing cabochons. I'll show you, the, you guys the cabochons when they get here and uh, then we can start uh, on our wire weaving adventures together. So if you do want to do some wire weaving and you've been thinking about it, that's some of the equipment you're gonna need various different shapes and sizes of wires, a few different pliers, a hammer, a little anvil. I mean, you don't even need the hammer. You don't have to have a hammer. You don't have to do the flattening of the wires either. You don't have to do anything, any of it. Um, you could just start with a basic, you know, chain nose pliers, uh, flat nose pliers, and the, the like hooked pliers. Oh, and I'd say the round nose pliers. So four. You could start with four basic sets of pliers, a bag of wire, and some beads with holes in. You know, you don't have to, or you could even do something without beads, make just some beautiful little piece of wire art. Um, and get, maybe get yourself a little anvil and a hammer um, and some wire, yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing in the next few weeks. So do come and join us on our wire weaving adventures. And of course there'll be much more beading to come. Uh, like I said, I needed a bit of time to decompress after our the uh, trip to uh, Portugal. Staying off grid certainly can have its challenges, and uh, yeah, I found it very tiring and travelling and whatnot. So, I had an epic migraine when I got home and <laughs> didn't do anything. So, sorry about the uh, the late announcement of our winners uh, video for the giveaway, which is is up now. And uh, yeah, my lack of being here on YouTube sometimes real life gets in the way. But yes, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you all soon for some wire weaving adventures and some more beading. So have a great day everybody, stay creative, have fun, and I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye everyone.